morning, everyone. Well, it's not morning, so it's, it's lunchtime. I'm at Fryswoods, so it's been in November was the last time I was here, and it's, it's all pretty good. Nothing's collapsed. Half of these fell down, but only one part of the paracord fell, came off. Um, the shelter was okay, really. Nothing really wrong with that. You always have to do a little bit of tidying up when you get in camp. But yeah, I'm here for the weekend. Um, I had to get out of the house, you know. I just said I've been there for two months and I've, I've been on the sewing machine uh, working constantly, which has been great uh, from the products and stuff. But, um, but I had to get out, and this is it. So I don't know what the weather's going to be like this weekend. Um, I don't care, really. I think it's going to be a bit warmer than normal. I think tomorrow's going to be pretty nice. Um, got me a US military rucksack on today. Um, and, uh, no swag. But then I might have to go to swag tomorrow. I'll have to see how we go. Um, I've got a new swag to see, so I wouldn't want to try it. But I've got a shelter I've got in here, and uh, it's quite a nice one. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to setting that up. And, uh, no, really. So I've not had no real plans. I just want to maybe take some products, pictures, and uh, have some food. Set up a new camp um, and uh, enjoy the weekend. But there you go. So let's set up. Let's set up. Let's do this. So yeah, so I set up the inside, give it a bit of a sweep out, any leaf matter, try and make it as level as possible. It's 
The sound of the birds is lovely. Makes you feel like spring's not far away. Bagger, this is the uh, Therma S, no, X bed. Um, sleep mat. It's quite a big, it's downfield, so that's quite a big um, bag it comes with. It's not great. And it's round, so by putting it in one of my bags, it, it just sat lovely in, amongst the lots with the other bags. Then I think that this shape starts being a pain, and you've got these gaps around it, so. It was easy enough just to put it in one of my bags and it fit lovely inside the rucksack. Right. These bags are great. I've got sleeping back and I've got one of the uh, uh, Jarvan, Jarvan bags and uh, I've been wanting one for ages but they're hard, they're hard to get hold of second hand so I have to get a new one but this is going to be like a bivy bag it's waterproof it's got a uh, permaloft in it or primaloft um, and I'm going to put the sleeping bag I might even put the mat inside this um, but this is the king size because I'm over six foot two. Um, they suggest anyone over six foot two should go for the king size. So it comes in a great bag, really quite good, high quality material. And uh, yes, it'd be a good test. They normally come in like a mountain camo, but lucky enough, because I was just bu I was buying it, I didn't have to wait for a second hand one come up, which I have tried, they don't. Um, I went for the uh, woodland camo, which is sort of, I like it. So basically, I'm just going to zip it all up. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty big bag. And it zips all around it. So. I might just put the mat inside it because the mat's really big and it might fit in there just nice. So yeah, we're gonna see how we get on with that. <laughs> Alright, so there's the bag, we just gotta put the sleeping bag in there. Which is, see I've not compressed this bag down, I just chucked it in. I like it to form the shape of the bag. Yeah, again, so when, I, when it's in the rucksack with my bags on top of it, it takes up all the space around the outside of what would normally be a round uh, stuff bag. It's a down pillow. So I've got this down pillow, which I've had it for quite a few years now, it's okay, but as soon as you lay on it, it does that. So, right. So that's it all laid out. As you can see, looks like a lot of bags, and it is, but with it organized like that, um, you know where everything is, and it's condensing it as best as possible. So, so on this side over here, clothes, Therma S, uh, warm layer jacket, a down jacket in there, um, food, brew kit, zebra, frying pan, eagle kettle, Trangia. 
Then at the top there, we've got a fire kit, we've got a toiletry kit, we've got my possibles kit, two litres of water, um, spare cordage, and then we've got a toilet kit and um, fire kit. And the other one there, which I didn't show, it's got all the power inside it. So like, you know, lights, stuff like that. Um, first aid, a sink, bushcraft essential, titanium, uh, mess bottle, tools and bag and gloves um, and that's it really yes it seems a lot but I like to come out some people could mostly take like little snippets of what's in these so you wouldn't have such a big of a, of a fire kit or a tool kit or uh, you know your food or your clothes you know it's up to you whatever you want to take but I like to take not go too heavy um, but just so uncomfortable to carry it I'm happy to use it you know this is not my lightweight ultra light kit you know this is for walking a few miles you know a few miles out um, quite easily and um, you know if I was doing something like you know a, whole, a walking trip you know which I have done then it's completely different everything's cut right back and uh, you know you've got something like maybe a 10 kilo bag um, but yeah there we go Bring the stove along, give it a blast, see how it fits with inside this shelter. Um, it's, what it's there to be used for, so why not use it? I like this stove just because of the size of it. It's only small, it's very easy to carry, you know, in the car, you know, it's not like it's a big bulky item. But yeah, we'll set that up and we'll uh, see how that goes. Wood's dead, so um, I've got all the twigs and that in the middle there, and I'm trying to generate heat in there. And uh, by wrapping the wood around the outside, you're protecting it a bit. You, what you're doing is sort of causing a bit more of a furnace in there, and it's drying out the wood at the same time. And hopefully, what it'll do is just start burning outwards. Um, this is sort of a method I use quite a lot, especially in the woods damp. And uh, once these start lighting, then I pull them back. But it's getting that good bed of coals in there um, when we know we've got a secure fire. At the moment, you know, this ain't, this is just getting going. It could die out or whatever. Um, but we're giving it the best opportunity possible. So it's just to uh, see how that goes. How are we getting here? Not done anything to it, just chuck a few cool bits of wood on top and uh, just to encourage it a bit, you know, it's always good to have something to uh, blow some air onto it, just like this. Just to encourage it.
Well, morning everyone. Time is 10 to 8. And uh, I'm hoping the sun's going to come up. We'll see. It's, it's, I'll say it's about 3 4 Celsius this morning. Um, had a cracking sleep in the um, in the oven and uh, I was lovely and warm. I didn't actually have the sleeping bag, I just had it wrapped on me, not inside the sleeping bag. Um, and there was loads of loads of heat in there, I mean, really loads of heat. But it gave me the ability to have the sleeping bag open and just have it sort of stuck down the like sort of just over the top of me and uh, um, we can have your arms free and your legs free, do what you want, it's really comfortable. So I think this is like near to a bowl now, which didn't take no time, yeah, didn't take no time that thing. And we'll have a cup of tea. But yeah, it was a good night. Um, I went to sleep at about 10, which is a bit early. I woke up at 4, which is normally my sort of 6 hour sleep time. Um, stayed up for an hour or so, tossing and turning, just really comfortable though. Then went back to sleep for about an hour, an hour and a half. So that's all right. So I'm going to get the fire. I had the fire one last night in here just to see what it was like. And it did actually heat up the, this area in here nicely and warm, even though it's all, it was all open. It, it done a really good job of uh, just heating up. So I'll get it going today and cook some breakfast on it, maybe. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to be in the woods. <laughs> so let's get a brew on. Get some hot water on for a wash.
So what I'm doing is just seasoning the pan and uh, it will take a little time, I'll do it a few times um, and, uh, just trying to make it a little bit non-stick so I won't show you the whole process if you can see but just going to do this a few times so you can see it blacking up so uh, I'll bring you back when I've done it here we go So I've only done it uh, twice. Um, so I'm going to put some bacon in it. We'll see how it goes. And we'll chuck some oil in there just a bit. too bad I'd say. For the first burning, I think it's done alright. I'll do it a couple more, give it a clean and do it a couple more times and that should be good. Best thing you do is just put water on it. Look at that, a bit of ketchup.
Uh, look at the glorious day it is today. Just what I was hoping for that you know we'd have this nice bit of sun, it's actually really mild. It's beautiful. But yeah, just an update on the spoon. Just been carving away, getting something like that. Uh, I'm just gonna do the bowl now and uh, see how it comes out. Sun's out, it's lunchtime, well, it's one o'clock. Let's have a nifty beer on the old Guinness. Oh, yeah, well, that fits perfect to run him. Quick bag, pick it up. I'd like to mark the occasion of uh, my first camp out in 2021. Got myself a cigar. Well, actually, I bought two of these cigars when I was uh, in December, it was my 50th birthday. And uh, couldn't do anything, obviously, and just worked on, on, my, on my birthday. But I stopped for lunch and uh, I had one of these uh, Henry Wintermans. There's, I bought two and uh, I haven't added, this is the second one, so on a lovely day in February uh, I'm going to smoke the cigar, have the Guinness and uh, just enjoy it, so Hang on, let's move this up Alright, so what I'm going to do is a bit of a change around um, got 
the um, one tigress teepee. So I thought, I've tried it in the garden, but it'd be nice to have a sleep out in it. And uh, all I've got to do is take down that shell. I'll keep it the same and put this one up. So I won't film the whole lot, but what I do, I just, just give you a heads up what I'm doing and we see what it looks like afterwards. And it'd be uh, great to have the fire in there and see how that sort of, how warm that is. So uh, that's the plan of action. So we're just gonna move everything out, take that shell down and put this one up and put all the stuff back inside it. So let's do that. Camp all set up. It's all uh, fits in there quite nicely. Stove in. Put the kettle on. Put the bed, which is obviously pretty big. Put my rucksack on one corner. Obviously, you know, you wouldn't take that and the woods in your rucksack, but we can just show you can use that space up. Um, what I might do is get that going shortly. And uh, well, it's a time for maybe an hour or so. Start heating up, might even cook the food, food on it. But yeah, it's all pretty good. And I look quite like this light material because it's quite nice and bright in it. Yeah, it's all right. But what a glorious day. Just what I was hoping for. Sun's over there, just about going to go down. I suspect in the next hour. It just gives you like, I don't know, it's just the thing of spring coming, and hopefully everyone can get back out in the woods again. Um, and I missed all the, the events last year. You know, none of us could go, and uh, I missed the socialising, the talking, the meeting up with people. And then uh, you've got a bit of sun and you're out camping. You know? I mean, it's like this weekend, I full sod it, I'm going to go out. Um, you know, with work and the bags, it's like, you know, seven days a week job at the moment, which is great. But the trouble is, you know, you miss out on what I love to do, which is my main thing is getting out into the woods. So I was determined to get out this weekend, so this is what happened and it's a glorious, lovely, sunny weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. Got a nice little setup here. I'm just gonna about put some food on, so I've just got the stove going. And uh, I'm just gonna uh, get something to eat. Got some, got some water starting to uh i've only just put this on so there is meat there for quite a lot but i've just put that on and um just gonna chuck this one and one of these one of these things which is like a potato potato thing so i'm just gonna put it in there There we go. So I'm just going to let that cook up.
take should be good, hopefully. Feels okay. I don't think I won't be eating all of this, but might as well put it on there. Cool blimey. But there we go. Not too bad. Okay, okay guys, uh, that's the end of the video, um, it's Sunday, uh, weather's lovely again, we've had a bit of sun, but it's, you know, temperature's lovely and warm, uh, camp's all cleared up, got some wood for next time, um, and, uh, it's been really good, I hope the video is good and you enjoy it, um, it's been a while since I've been in a video, but then I haven't been out anywhere, so that's the reason for that, so that's it. I'll see you soon and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Bye.